How's it going, everybody? Blake here, and this is Rambling Movie Takes, coming at you with a movie review for Scream 2022. All right, so this is a spoiler-free slash spoiler review. I'm going to, you know, if you've watched my videos before, you know how I do things. I, I don't really give a by-the-numbers type review. I'm more or less just talking about these movies and, you know, just giving my general thoughts and... Like there's no structure to what I do, guys. There, there's absolutely no structure. I'm, I'm all over the place. You either dig that or you don't. Anyways, guys, I haven't been, you know, I haven't been around in a while. I haven't done any videos. Uh, I don't know. I was contemplating just kind of giving up on it for a while and uh, maybe jumping back into it later on. But, uh, you know. I love doing this and I think I just needed a break. I think I just needed a little bit of a little bit of time to recharge. And um yeah. So let's talk about Scream 2022. So again, like I said, this is a spoiler free review, and then I will talk spoilers at the end. Because I have to talk spoilers. <laughs> I have to. I have to. Uh all right, so, but I, I will give you a warning, though. Trust. Trust that I will give you a warning. All right, so, let me first say, well, before I get started, I, I'm rusty. Do like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly, so greatly appreciate it. It would mean the world to me. So, talking about Scream 2022. So, so here's the thing. I am a big fan of the Scream franchise in general. I think the Scream franchise is so great. I love all of the Scream movies, minus Scream 3. I, I think Scream 3 is still a, a pretty okay movie. It's perfectly watchable, but it's my least favorite of the four by far. Like, there is a big jump. Like, if I was to do a ranking, Scream 3 would would be like, like, uh, like it, it would be a big, there'd be a big gap between Scream 3 and, and let's say, Scream two so so yeah but i still enjoy it you know quite a bit so when scream 2022 was announced i was like hell yes like i i am on board 100 percent on board i cannot wait to watch this i i have the utmost confidence in radio silence to deliver a great movie after what they did with ready or not which i think is freaking fantastic i think it's one of the best horror movies of the last like 10 years like truly uh, i i really love that movie and, and you know smart weaving mm -hmm. anyways so i was really excited for this movie and you know there was fan theories out the wazoo over this movie like what are they going to do to different to differentiate uh this movie from the other Scream movies, because as some of you may or may not know, this is the first Scream movie to not be directed by the legendary Wes Craven. So, I had a lot of concerns. I think a lot of people did. And, you know, going, going in to this movie, I felt like it was going to be good. I felt like it was going to, to be a... A fun movie to watch. I didn't expect perfection, but I expected it to be a pretty good movie. And guys, I gotta tell you, I, I thought this movie was was fantastic. I thought it was great. I, I enjoyed it so much. Um, I have I have some nitpicks. There's things about it that I don't care about, uh, care too much about. But but like I, I think the opening scene is really good. Uh, with, uh, what's that girl's name? Jenna Ortega. Like, she, she was great. That opening scene was great. I love how they incorporate, you know, modern technology and all that. Um, that's all I'll really say about, about how that scene plays out. If you've seen the trailer, um, it, it pretty much gives away the first scene of the movie. At least a lot of it anyway. Um, but there's things that it didn't show as well. That scene is very, it's very brutal. 
it's a lot it's a lot more brutal than I expected it to be. Uh, I, I was actually very surprised as to uh, how far they actually went because it it gets it gets pretty gnarly. So so yeah, like I was hooked after the first scene of of, of Scream Twenty Twenty Two. I was I was hooked. I was ready to go. I was like, yes, hundred percent, yes. I am here for it, and this movie just kept delivering. It kept delivering from start to finish. I love the cast. The entire cast was great. Everyone played their roles very well. I really, really like Melissa Barrera in this movie. She plays the, I guess, the lead of the movie. You know, she's the new Sydney or whatever, and she was great. Like, she was, she was awesome. All right. And, you know, I, I do like how they incorporated the legacy characters, you know, uh, Dewey and, and, uh, and Gail and Sydney. I, I, I was very happy with how they were incorporated. I do feel like they were just kind of shoehorned in. At least Sydney was anyway. To be honest with you, something that I think I would have liked more is if Sydney would have been a cameo. I, I wish Sydney would have just been a cameo. Uh, I think I would have liked, liked this movie a little bit more had she not really been a part of it uh, beyond just a, you know, just, just like I said, a cameo. But I thought, I thought they did a, a good job with incorporating the legacy characters. And, you know, yeah. I mean, I, I thought the movie was, like I said, again, like I thought it was really good. And I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, I think probably my favorite character uh, was uh, Jack Quaid's character. I really liked him. I, I thought I thought he was I thought he was really good. Um, definitely my favorite, you know. Besides uh, Melissa Barrera, um, Melissa Barrera was was probably the real standout. But but Jack Quaid was man, he was good. So, so yeah, like I do have nitpicks. Like my biggest nitpick is that this movie was way too predictable. It was way too predictable. Like that was my only knock on it is that I was able to predict the killers. Killer, killers, I'm not going to spoil you. Uh, you know, way too early. And I only really doubted myself one time where I was like, Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But I'm not wrong about... I'm not wrong. Maybe I am. And I wasn't wrong. So, so yeah. I thought this was a good, very good movie. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I had a great time with it. It was a lot more violent than I expected. And I do feel like, like Wes Craven would be proud. I really do. I feel like he would be proud. So... Those are pretty much my general thoughts on this movie. Uh, I'm about to go into the spoiler portion, but but to give my my rating, I guess I would give it an eight out of ten. I, I thought it was a a very solid movie. I, I had a good time with it. So eight out of ten. Let's talk spoilers. All right. So like I said, the killers in this movie were. You know, I'm not going to get into the killers just yet. There's a legacy character in this movie that gets killed off. And it was it was Dewey. They killed off Dewey. And it broke my heart, man. Like I felt that in my soul. Like I'm watching this movie with my girlfriend and look, I'm I'm a big dude, all right? I am a big dude. So, I'm sitting here Sitting there like a big ass softy man. Like I'm just getting ready to ball. Alright? Like I take this shit serious. They killed off Dewey. Like I didn't cry. Let's make one thing clear. I did not cry. But I cannot judge anybody that did. If you cried, 
I can't judge you for it. Like, that shit was sad, yo. Like, I'm just being real. And I thought his death scene, I will say, even though it was very sad, it was emotionally charged, that was a damn good death. They gave Dewey a really good death. I hate that it was it was written the way it was written, though, because it made Dewey look like a total idiot. But <laughs> he should know better. But it it worked. It worked well enough, and the death itself was was befitting of a of a legacy character. Shout out to uh, Louie back there. So um, so yeah, you know, it was what it was. So I want to talk about the killers. Uh, like I said, I, I I was able to predict very early on who the killers were. And it was Jack Quaid's character. I, I can't remember his, his character in the movie. And uh, he was the boyfriend, obviously, of Melissa Barrera's uh, Samantha. Um, it was him and it was uh, Tara, Samantha's sister's girlfriend, Amber. They were the killers. I, I, I was not surprised. When the reveal happened, I was not surprised. I was like, okay... So the rivet so the reveal lost weight for me personally. But the way it was all set up, the who done it and everything at the end, I thought was well enough. I thought I thought the third act of this movie was actually pretty pretty cool. Um and Jack Quaid, man, I got some real stew vibes from him. You know, Matthew Lillard's character from the first movie. I got some real vibes from uh, Stu vibes for sure. I think that's why I like Jack Quaid's character so much. I, also, he's in the he's in the Boys, and man, he's he's so good. He is so good, man. But um, I'm losing my train of thought. And the last thing I really want to talk about, and I'm probably missing stuff, but the last thing I really want to talk about, the way they incorporated Skeet Ulrich, Billy Loomis's character. You know, Skeet Ulrich. A.K.A. Billy Loomis, the boyfriend, Sydney's boyfriend from the first movie. The way they incorporated him, I have my issues with it, but I have to admit that I was still very happy to see him. I thought the de-aging was absolutely terrible. I thought it was horrendous. I thought he looked, I thought he looked like an old guy that was trying to look young, to be honest with you. I mean, that was, that, that's my honest opinion. But I still like how they incorporated him. I thought incorporating him as like a, as like a hallucination or whatever, uh, for you know Samantha, you know, being that she was his 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 daughter. I I, I liked it. I liked it uh, considerably, especially at the end when she went freaking ham, she went ape shit on uh, on Jack Quaid, you know, in the in the third act. I was like. Fuck yes. Yes, absolutely. Like, that was overkill, but it was awesome. It was freaking awesome. And and the last thing, the, there is one more thing. Uh, Officer Judy, Sheriff Judy, excuse me. That scene where her and her son Wes die. They get killed by Ghostface. I have to admit that was an emotionally charged scene. It, it, didn't, it didn't hit me like the Dewey scene did. But it still hit me. And I was like... Mm. I was like, I feel this a little bit. I feel this. But yeah. I, I uh, That was a gruesome death. Killed her in the broad freaking daylight. I was like, wow. But... And it was violent. So violent. Like the... Like the, you know, like, that didn't look right. That didn't look right. Anyways, so, um, I guess that's all I got. <laughs> that's all I really wanted to talk about. Guys, I really like this movie. Again, 8 out of 10. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, I don't know why you're still watching, but you definitely need to go see it. It is worth checking out. It is worth watching. It is a fantastic movie. If you're a Scream fan, I don't see how you walk away from it without at least saying... It was okay. It's, it's, a, it's a fun movie. And I'm glad to have watched it. I'm glad to have experienced it on the big screen. And uh, 
I look forward to seeing whatever they do going forward. Personally, I think this should be the last one and that they should reboot this franchise in, in probably about 10 years or so. But they're, they're making a lot of money, so they're going to they're gonna cash in on this and they're, they're going to keep going with them. I guarantee you. But yeah, guys, that's, that's my review. Uh, again, I know this was kind of all over the place. I, I'm not very structured with these things. I just like talking movies. I <clears throat> lost my voice a little bit. I just like talking movies and, you know, just general conversation, guys. That's what I like to do. Uh, if you like that, then that's great. Click on some of my other videos. Uh, and, and keep coming back. Do like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And come right back for the next video. Because there will be more. I am back. I am excited to be back. And I can't wait to do more videos. And let me know in the comments if you would like to see me do like a, like a ranking video or something. You know, I don't do a whole lot of those. But I, I would be down to try it. I would be down to give it a go. You know, rank, ranking the Scream movies, ranking the uh, the Killers. Uh, wh whatever you guys want to see, you know, let me know. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's all I got. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And until next time, I'm Blake, and this has been Rambling Movie Takes. Y'all have a good one.